Hello all, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM in your HP 15-D071NR notebook PC. It comes with a standard 4 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to go ahead and upgrade it to 8 today and uh, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to stand by after I properly shut down this computer. Okay, now that we have the computer shut off, uh, the next step is to make sure that you have your set of precision screwdrivers. Now, the one you're going to want to use is a Phillips head. All right, it's not the biggest one in there, it's the second smallest. Now, uh, before we get that far and everything, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the battery and then ensure that the system has no power first. Alright, try to make sure you're also doing this in an area with no carpet so that you don't have the chance of electrostatic discharge, which could fry your computer, your RAM stick, or uh, pretty much anything electronic. So if you're ever taking anything apart, make sure that you either make sure you have a grounding strap, you're not on carpet, or pretty much you're doing everything at your own risk. Alright, so what you need to do next is you need to remove the battery. Okay, there's uh, two sliders here. Basically you have your lock over here and your actual removal there. So what you're going to do is you're going to unlock it until you see the orange over here for the uh, unlock the lock. And then after that you're going to slide the other one to the side and just lift up on your battery. At that point your battery comes off of the laptop. Okay, where a lot of people make a mistake is that they think that they're good to go right after this. Well, the power's not completely out of the system so you do need to open it up and press the power button a few times, hold it for about five seconds and then release it. That's how you know pretty much your laptop is now powerless. It has no power left in it so you don't have to worry about the residual power maybe throwing a shot through the system. Okay so now you see you have this panel right here, this the center panel that looks like the shape of an L here. Okay, you only have one screw up here at the top, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and remove this screw. Alright, the screw doesn't completely come out. You hear how it clicks? Alright, that means it's completely done, right? So you take either a flathead or you could use the same screwdriver you have and just kind of pry it down until the uh, clips pop. After that, just continue to pull. It's not going to break, alright? So I just set that off safe to the side. Okay, so you take a look at the inside of your computer here. So I'll give you a brief rundown of kind of what you see. Alright, this right here is going to be your wireless card here. So if you ever have a wireless internet card that dies or anything, all you have to do is remove this one screw here and pop these uh, antennas off and then pull the card out and then put the new one in and screw it back in. Alright, so that is pretty easy with that. Now you have your different ribbon connectors over here to make sure that you don't damage those in any way. Uh, so, because if you do damage them, uh, your, your keyboard or your power button and uh, your extra USB ports are not going to function. Okay, so anyways, down to it. Right down here you have your RAM stick. Alright. Like I said, factory comes 4 gigabytes. What we have is a um, uh, 8 gigabyte that, that's going to be installed. Well, I currently already have the 8 gigabyte in due to the fact of I already disposed of the other one. Alright, so... As you see, that this thing uh, takes uh, all the way up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. It only has one slot. There's not another slot on the other side of the keyboard. I've taken this apart completely already. It's been completely dismantled. There is no extra slot. So pretty much what you see is what you get. 
So to remove this this thing, you, there's these little metal slide connectors here, right out here on the side, little tabs. Well, you just pull them off to the side, right? And as you see, it just pushes it up at an angle. Right from there, you can pull it out. Alright, so as you see here, uh, it's relatively easy to take in and out. So basically, it's kind of only goes in one way. So when you put the new RAM stick in, you can only put it in one direction because you'll see. Uh, when you're actually taking a look at it that this section here is longer than this section alright the same thing here you have a long side and a small side it'll only go in one way so you can't mess it up alright so you just push it in at an angle as far as it'll go and while you're putting constant positive but not a lot of pressure uh, towards the top to make sure it's seated correctly you're going to push back. You'll hear a snap and then basically these connectors will line up with these notches here. And then you have a successfully installed ram stick. So after after we cut back I'm going to go ahead and, and show you how to make sure that your system recognizes your ram. Now it should automatically do it auto boot and then you just go check your settings to make sure that uh, you didn't get gypped on your card or uh, something of that nature so uh, just uh, stand by alright guys uh, I almost forgot to show you just how to how easy it is to reinstall this back panel alright you're going to want to do it from the, the bottom first which is the long side down here at the bottom okay alright see the long side the one with the vent so basically, just put it in here at a, at a at an angle. There's little slots down inside, and all you do is push until the panel snaps in. All right. Some some of it might take a little force. Other parts might not. But make sure that you retighten this screw up here at the top. Alright, don't get vicious with it when you tighten it up. Hand tight's good enough so you don't have to torque it too much. Okay, so after that reinstallation of the battery is pretty easy. As you see, you only have the one set of metal connectors and you have the one connector right there. So they line up, you're good to go. So you slide your battery back on. And if all goes well, this laptop will boot. All right, all. Well, now that we've verified that, we're going to go ahead and check our uh, PC settings to make sure that it installed correctly. Well, obviously it booted, so it's it's recognizing RAM. So, but it doesn't hurt to double check. So basically, just come down here to the corner where the uh, start button is right click it and then go up to system all right after you go to system you should see pretty much right here that it'll say 8 gigabytes installed so if you guys have any more questions or um, want to know any further on how to get this done just make sure that you Put in the comments and I'll respond as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you for watching and make sure that you tune in to listen to the Reflective Ride It on Shout Engine as well as uh, check our webpage out at www.reflectiveriot.com.